This incredible new AI has shocked the online world because it lets anyone make their own songs, even people who've never played an instrument or sung a note in their lives. So not only does it craft the lyrics for you, but it sings them too. Suno AI is a tool that transforms your musical ideas into complete songs, making music production accessible to people of all skills. Developed by Anthropic, a company known for its AI chatbot Claude, Suno AI has roots in Cambridge, Massachusetts, with a team from big names like Meta and TikTok. The traditional music industry is really feeling the pressure as AI tools like this begin to take over. Thanks to this crazy technology, regular folks can now produce studio quality music right from their own homes, shaking up what we've always expected from professional recording studios. Suno AI, which means listen in Hindi, became popular quickly after its launch in December 2023. It even teamed up with Microsoft, making it available in Microsoft Copilot. Since starting in 2022, it has raised a whopping $224 million with the help of many investors. This collaboration with Microsoft is a big deal. It lets people, regardless of their musical knowledge, make unique and fun songs just by giving a simple command. The CEO of Suno, Shulman, mentioned that while making songs in the style of famous artists is exciting, it might not keep consumers entertained forever. He believes that the real charm of Suno lies in its ability to simplify music creation for everyone, particularly those without musical training. The AI has free and paid plans. The free plan gives you 50 credits daily, letting you create up to 10 songs. The pro plan at $8 a month offers 2,500 credits, and the premier plan at $24 a month offers 10,000 credits. With these plans, users keep the rights to their music, unlike the free plan where Suno retains them. The app also offers customization, like adding vocals to songs, making it a user-friendly option for all music enthusiasts. The latest update of the app boasts better audio quality and more music styles. It even promises to better follow your song instructions. Is it legal? Yes, and you own your music. Shulman emphasizes that Suno is all about legal and ethical music creation. It doesn't allow you to use other songs or lyrics from existing bands. For instance, if you ask it to make a song about a famous band, it will simply refuse, protecting copyright laws. Suno makes sure that all music created is the user's property, but it also warns that not every piece will be completely unique, especially if users give similar prompts. They recommend consulting a lawyer if you want to understand your rights better. This tool is not just a fun gadget, it's a peek into the future of music, where AI helps bring your creative visions to life. See the leaf. Cash stack, flash stack, streets, heat. All right, now, Apple's upcoming iOS 18 is set to be a major update, introducing a suite of AI-driven features at a system level. This marks a significant shift as Apple plans to implement generative AI that could enhance functionalities like Siri and Spotlight Search across both new and old iPhone models. According to Mark Gurman from Bloomberg, these initial AI enhancements will be processed directly on the iPhones themselves, not relying on external cloud servers. This approach allows even older iPhones to benefit from the latest AI capabilities without needing new hardware. However, with the upcoming iPhone 16 series featuring a more advanced neural engine, future AI features might leverage this more powerful chip. Apple plans to unveil iOS 18 along with other software updates at its WWDC 2024 event on June 10th. This timeline gives developers a good stretch to test and refine the AI functionalities before the iPhone 16 launch in September. There's also talk that Apple might later integrate cloud-based AI, as they are looking into acquiring AI server technology, potentially altering their strategy in the years to come. Apple will showcase iOS 18 and other software enhancements at WWDC, but it seems their AI-powered chatbot won't make the cut this time around, even as they prepare to compete with products like ChatGPT and Google Gemini in the future. Now, something a bit different, Botswana Diamonds, BOD, a UK-based company, is using AI to uncover new diamond deposits. This innovative approach uses a technology called Explore, developed in partnership with UK-based International Geoscience Services Limited, which allows for human-like analysis of massive data sets that are too large for quick human analysis. John Teeling, chairman of BOD, highlighted the scale of their mineral database in Botswana. 
describing it as vast and simply too big for timely analysis by humans. The database is the second largest in Botswana, containing 380 gigabytes of data and 260,000 files. It includes extensive geophysical and soil data, covering 95,000 square kilometers of terrain and featuring results from hundreds of geophysical surveys and soil samples, as well as tens of thousands of drill hole logs. Explore utilizes semantic technology combined with machine learning to understand, interpret, and process this data in a way that mimics human reasoning. BOD states that the system works much like a geologist, but operates faster and more efficiently. By processing large data sets, AI identifies gaps in the data and learns to correct them, leading to new insights and previously unseen drillable targets. Moreover, the technology is also capable of identifying other types of mineral deposits, expanding its utility beyond just diamonds. This breakthrough in using AI means we might soon be finding more diamonds and minerals faster than ever before, but do you think this will make them cheaper? Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, now remember when I talked about Humane's AI pin device before it even came out? Well, it's officially hit the market across the nation, but it seems the feedback so far is pretty mixed. Early adopters are finding that while the device has some promising features, it might not be quite ready for prime time. Humane has been touting their wearable AI pin as a potential smartphone replacement, capable of doing everything from making calls to projecting information right onto your hand. However, according to the first round of reviews, the pin's performance doesn't quite justify its $699 price tag yet. Both The Verge and Wired gave it a mediocre 4 out of 10. The co-founders of Humane, Bethany Bongiorno and Imran Chowdhury are still optimistic. They've stated that this release is just the beginning and they plan to roll out software updates, new features and more partnerships to improve the PIN's capabilities. Reviewers had some positives to note. The PIN does look sleek and feels premium, kind of like a high-end watch or fancy jewelry. It's also got some neat tricks like translating languages and taking photos and videos, although the photo quality isn't great, but the negatives currently outweigh the positives. Issues like the device's tendency to overheat, moderate what you say, and fail at basic tasks have left many reviewers unimpressed. For example, The Verge's David Pierce pointed out that the pin struggles with many basic functions and only occasionally performs well. Wired's Julian Chakatu mentioned that while the translation function works fairly well, the device won't let you see past texts for security reasons, and it even censors your messages to avoid offensive language. Chris Velasco from The Washington Post found that interacting with the pin felt natural and enjoyed the feature that projects information onto your hand. But he also highlighted problems with texting and unhelpful AI responses. All in all, while the AI pin from Humane is a bold step towards futuristic tech wearables, it seems it still has a long way to go before it can think about replacing our smartphones. It's definitely a product with potential, just perhaps not quite ready for the spotlight. Okay, now, the University of Missouri has started a new center focused on using artificial intelligence to improve farming. This center, formed in partnership with MU Extension and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, aims to make farming more efficient and eco-friendly. Kent Shannon, the co-director, is working on AI that can quickly spot problems like crop diseases or nutrient shortages, helping farmers use resources like fertilizer more effectively. This could be especially important in Missouri, where farming makes up a big part of the economy. The center also features the MU Digital Farm, a place where new farming technologies are tested. Drones, for example, have become crucial for tasks that are tough for traditional farming methods. Despite the potential benefits, not all farmers are quick to adopt these new technologies. Challenges like poor internet in rural areas also make it harder to use advanced tech. However, the center hopes its work will not only help Missouri farmers, but also set new standards for farming across the country. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.